don't know yet. Osgood Hall, courtroom three, is where the hearing in front of three panel judges in the matter of the Rob Ford conflict of interest appeal will be heard today. Monday, January 7th. 2013. City Hall. Deputy Mayor Doug Holliday answered a call from CTV for an interview and he came. Mayor Rob Ford is already inside Osgood Hall. It's a few moments past 10 a.m. and here we are.
Does he have that kind of support on council? Well, he has quite a bit of support on council. I'm not sure if we have the needed 23 votes, but uh, we'll be working on that and seeing if we can uh, come up with them. I think it's a matter of justice and, and fairness, and if councillors will set politics aside for a moment, I think that they will see what, what I'm talking about. The fact is the judge said that the law is a blunt instrument in this case, which uh, means that the penalty doesn't fit what's happened. It's far too severe. The province knows that, and they're changing. They're working on changing the legislation right now. The council's not bound by the same uh, conditions that a judge would be bound by. So we can take a look at this uh, from a, a, a fairness standpoint, and I think if councillors are willing to do that, the fair thing here is to reappoint Rob. Is council in any way prepared to spend the millions of dollars it would take to have a file? I, I don't know that at this point, and I don't know if it will come to that. I'm hoping that, that he'll win the appeal, and if he doesn't win the appeal, I'm hoping that we'll get enough votes for the appointment. How has the uncertainty of Rob for political future played out at City Hall? Well, it, it's been a distraction of sorts, but by and large, the agenda has gone forward. The city business has certainly been attended to. Uh, the budget committee under Michael Del Grand has been meeting regularly. Their, their, their budget's coming forward shortly. Tomorrow, the executive committee will be dealing with, uh, with some of that budget. So I think from uh, from city business standpoint, uh, it's been business as usual. And how is Rob Gould dealing with all of this? Well, I think there's a bit of a strain on him, there's no doubt about that, but uh, he's very optimistic that he's going to win this appeal, and I hope he does. Are you all prepared to take over council to go If Mr. Ford is removed from office, uh, I would automatically take over the duties of mayor. I would do that whether he was sick or on vacation or whatever might be fall. But uh, that's part of the duty of being deputy mayor, and I would do that until such times as council would deal with the matter. and. Uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Doug Holliday, you've been around in this politics for a long time. Have you seen anything like this? No, no, I have not, and uh, hopefully we won't see it again. But uh, it's uh, one of these things that comes up, and we, we have to deal with it, and we will. Concerned about the out outcome here, I'm hoping that, uh, that Rob wins the appeal. Uh, there's a panel of judges here that will look at this from all angles, and uh, I'm just hoping that they can see enough reason to uh, to uh, let him keep his job. I think everyone recognizes that that the penalty for what has gone on here is far too severe. That uh, $3,100 from 11 separate individuals or groups that money that went to buy football equipment for, for football players who couldn't afford their own equipment is, and to have the mayor tossed out over that matter is, is far too severe a matter. Now, I know that the real uh, point here is, of course, that he voted on whether he should return that $3,100. I don't think that matter should have ever been before council, by the way, in that way. But nevertheless, it was. But the penalty far exceeds what's gone on, and uh, I just hope that uh, the, the appeal is successful. But are, the, is the, are their hands tied, the judges? I don't know that. Uh, I don't know that at all. Uh, sometimes judges uh, have uh, creative ways of solving the difficulties, and hopefully these people can do that. For the deputy mayor, if, uh, if a ruling goes against the mayor, what happens for you? Well, the first thing that uh, we would be trying to do is to get him reappointed. I think that, again, the fairness aspect of that uh, calls for us to do that, and that's what we'll try to do. This is unprecedented, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know that it's ever happened uh, in this way in, in any other jurisdiction. So, what about council now? They, they, you could have him come in, council could keep him as mayor, or what would happen at, at that point? Yes, council could. Council could reappoint him. That's what I said. I'm, I'm, if he doesn't win the appeal, that would be the first thing that I think we should try to do, is get him reappointed. Is there backing to that? Well, there might be. Certainly there was backing uh, from council in the vote that he participated in to not make him pay that money back. And that meant that council didn't agree with what the integrity commissioner had done. I think it might have been proper for him to be asked to apologize for using his letterhead to, to solicit this money. It might have been proper for him to say that he would never do it again. But to make him pay back the money. He tried to pay back the money. The people who donated the money said, look, we donated it to those football players who need it. We, we don't want our money back. And uh, I think that the, the make him pay the money back just went too far. And council 
had a vote on the matter and they agreed. Councillor, in February... Like Councillor, in February, the confirmatory bill actually nullified the conflict of interest because it doesn't exist anymore. So isn't that an argument that should have been recognized by the court? It actually doesn't exist. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not, not a legal mind and I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, the, it's courts, a matter uh, the courts, I'm sure, have looked at this from all aspects and uh, understand the law far better than, than I and uh, I, I just feel confident in their hands. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Doug Holliday. Hey, Tyler.